this race gone so far as there's a spinner at the 66. It feels like about half an hour, frankly, but the 66 car backwards at the final corner and as he rejoins right into the side of one of the cool racing cars, I want to say. Surely it can't be more bad luck for the Swiss outfit. First of all, the spin as a result of a clash with the United Autosports LMP3, trying to pick out which Ligier that was. And as the 66 rejoins being driven by Steve Paro, right into the path of the 37. That's the car that joined the race and lapped down from the pit lane. And Nicola Molini must be thinking, why did I get out of bed this morning? Well, there can't be two sides of the bed. Whatever side he got out was the wrong side. And you can see the gesticulations there. And I'm afraid that uh, Steve Parra didn't cover himself in glory there. Whatever the recovery drive would have been from Nicola Molini, it's all over now. There is debris on the track, those cars. Must be pointed out the final corner of the circuit, Virage du Pont is about 115, 120 degree right-hander. There is line of sight on the way in, but uh, for Molini, he's abandoned his car. Might be an idea to get uh, stay with it and get it clear for cool racing. It's all gone horribly wrong. So clash, first of all, not sure how to judge that one initially. United Autosports going for a move into turn 14, Virage du Pont, but then questionable rejoining from Steve Paro. What you have to be doing is keeping an eye on the marshals who are at the nearest post to turn 14, indicating whether it is safe or not to rejoin. Now, I appreciate turn 14, the right-hander, is completely blind. You cannot risk a rejoin like that, where he's just driven right in front of a car which is minding its own business, but also going very fast indeed. Right, safety car as we saw out onto the circuit. Uh, we did notice that Steve Parra was actually pushed into a spin at that corner. Don't think it would be wise to go down to have a word with the Frenchman now. Steve Parra, you know, definitely grounds for a naughty manoeuvre down at, for United Autosports, but the rejoin, largely questionable. Uh, it's one incident that directly leads to another, and the contact was that severe that the front left wheel of Nicola Molini's car uh, uh, snaps up, wishbone 